Good YouTube and everybody. Thanks for visiting the channel and stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do because it helps the channel out. What we're going to talk about is Masters of the Universe Stinker. And we got a couple things here we're going to talk about. About on the list will be articulation, figure up close, and photos at the end of the video of him standing in multiple poses to show him in all of his glory. And now we're going to roll him off this stand and give him a measure real soon. But first, I want to talk to one of my guys here. Uh, my, one of my young guys that bought this for me. I was like, wow, you bought me a figure. I can't believe you did it because this is one of the ones I wanted to review. Thanks, my man. And what are your takes on that? What do you think about this figure? Well, I think this figure is really cool. You can twist it, do all sorts of things with it. Yeah, you can. Great height, um, great stances. Uh, mostly, I like the look of it. So I like the stances and looks of it. Now let's roll it off the stand to give it a measure. Okay. So let's go ahead and give this guy this measure here. Just get that stick out. Let's break it out. Okay, there we are. And it looks like he's going to be right under six in inches. Yeah, right under six inches. And if you flip it over, he should be right under 17 centimeters, we'll say. That's where he's at. So that's where he's at. That's where he's standing. And that's what we're working with today. Okay, so let's start off with his accessories. So let's go ahead and check these out here. I, I think for what you're paying for and the price of this figure, not a bad deal. So we'll go ahead and start with a pair of hands here. As you can see in the figure in the background, he does have these hands here, which are kind of a relaxed fit where they can hold weapons like a shield. If you want to get additional weapons to hold swords and whatnot and things of that matter. So here we go. Here goes the first big fist. This fist would have to match up with I guess nothing else because it's the only one that <laughs> it's the only fist here we have. Yeah, so that's it. Not a lot of detail, just some bulky plastic slammed together in a ball and then, you know, heat it up and to make it shape. So that's it on that. Also, you got the lashes right here. Got the latches. Lashes. Latches. <laughs> yep, you got those latches there for the up and down moment, but that's how the fist looks. You got it there. It there you go. There's a more clear view. Yeah, it's, that's that's what it is. Yep. All right, that's it. So let's go for this hand. The hand here, kind of different. Don't know why it's had the relaxed fit, but here it is. Relaxed, open hand. There it is. See, I was kind of got that, hey, uh, you owe me $5. Dude, you owe me $5. Put, put, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's a lax hand, that relax hand. You see it? Just that bulky plastic and just... You know, put some grooves in there for some hands like he's got some gloves on. That's all you got. It still will do. And there's your latch. Okay. And all right. We're going to go ahead and look at the shield. I like the shield. Looks more like a Lego shield, doesn't it? If you look at it, it's like, oh, pick up that Lego shield. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look too dominant. I wouldn't say this is a shield that would, that would be something I would battle in. But that is it. A lot of plastic here brush paint not cheap or is, is just is that just the plastic i'm not sure but that's how it looks you can see it he's got the place for his arms they're they're little this one's a little flimsy i don't this one's harder that can be broken they both can be broken but a nice snug fit that goes into there for him to hold that shield so there's the shield right and the back okay got it that's it and we're going to go for this additional sculpt, which I was pretty surprised that most of the time I don't, I don't, I don't see the two head sculpt, which, uh, the head, which is pretty decent. So here we are. There's your two head sculpt, right? There he is. Look at him with that relaxed eye. Like, <laughs> I told you not to wake me up and you did anyway. Where is my coffee? It's on the way. Okay. <laughs> so there he is. Nice sculpt on that. I mean, they didn't do a bad job, did they? I mean, look at that. Not, not bad. Not bad. Okay, get your verse on. Nice job. There you have it. All right. And that is, and that's going to do it for the accessories. So let's go ahead and look at the figure up close. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and look at them now. We're going to take a look at them up close. You see, 
We'll start with the head. Okay, so the head looks good. We looked at it earlier from the sculpt and from the uh, close-up view. Let's do the... Let's see here on the head sculpt. Okay, I'm, I got a little brain fart there. Okay, we're starting with the head. So you see that the head's good. We saw that earlier right there. Yep, okay. Nice on that. These guys' little packs here. These do not come out. It'd be kind of cool they had addition for these to come out. But there you are on that. Okay. Arms. This, uh, this on the arms here, that is just some white paint. Maybe some white cheap paint, because if I was to put my nail to it, I'm for sure taking it off. So that's painted over the black. So you got the black with one, with the, you know, kind of hair look stuff here, and then the white is over that. So still looks great, but an efficient way to do it. Not bad. That's the same on both arms. Actually, I can already see some paint coming to come up, coming off right there. Yep, see it? Sure do. Hey, that's just for me drinking the Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah, sure, sir. <laughs> okay, so the arms looking good. You got these red gaunt. What would you call these gauntlets? I'm not sure, but that's that's what they had. And that's why these hands look like gloves because of this here. He's fixing to go clean somebody's house. I'm pretty sure. How much did they say they were going to pay you? Right, okay. So, let's go to the other side. Yep, same thing. House gloves. Yep. And then the middle thing here is some hard plastic, just like he has in this, in this cartoon, in this, in this series. That's kind of flimsy. Yeah. Okay, that's just, just some... Just some plastic. Some funny, funny, rubbery plastic. That's what that is. Not Nothing, nothing too crazy. Okay, and then the belt, hard, and then you have this dangling stuff here. That's all one piece to make it look like hair. It's just It's just the one piece, and then they grooved it, and it put some blacks in there with the browns to make it look like he has hair coming coming down there, or, or, or something that's protecting him to keep him warm. One or the other, I think it's the hair. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Okay, legs, solid, you, solid, solid, solid color. That's the one color, so you're going to get that one color with the paintbrush to make it look like he's got fur on. And the same cleaning cleaning attire as his hands are at the bottom. I don't know how they made him for, him for his feet, but they did a good job on that. They said, hey, look, we got some for your hands, <laughs> and we got some for your feet and your nails. I know you didn't want to cut your nails, but we made them for you. There they are. Okay, so let's look at those eyes. Those eyes and teeth. Are pretty detailed I, I am not mad at that at all good job hasbro okay masters of the universe okay so that is the appearance let's step into that articulation and get it rolling articulation time let's grab this guy and see what he's got okie dokie hello okay starting with the head the head movements pretty good but I do have to say, the head movements are good, especially with being interchangeable hands. But the fact that he has this machine in his way, it limits it a lot. So he's got the up there kind of going. See, he's got it going, and he's got that. He's got a little bit down inside there. That's all fun and games. Peekaboo. <laughs> and, and, and he's got the up. So the head movements are great. It's just that you got to work around his um, uh, Decepticon construction con outfit yeah that's what it is it's just, he's a part of the destructicons yes that built darth vader i mean not <laughs> darth vader that that build devastator he has a part of that and they're coming for him coming for me what what yes they're coming for you okay okay right here oh oh we got this oh swirled all the way around okay nice like i told you these don't come out okay let's go for the arms here arms go all the way around that's a nice gig have that latch Bicep swivel, arm is in, and arm is out. Arm has a click when it goes in and out. It clicks, clicks, and clicks. But the end is there's no double joint. Like I'm gonna come in and come all the way in like that. That's about as far as it comes in. That's about as far as you need. Not a bad deal. Hands rotate, and they have, and they have the uh, latch. Okay, nice. I like that. So that's going to be the same on both sides. Being that, this is the same figure. Got the same same arms, no different. So it's the same on both sides. 
I like that. Not mad at that at all. Let's check out the fly. Fly, pr fly pretty decent on the fly. Not, not mad at that at all because look at that. It flies a lot higher than the old man, right? Nice job. Leg swirl in the thigh. And you have the bend in the knee. And you have the extra bend. Right? So down. Bend. All the way up. Nicely done. Okay. Bend that back down. We know that this side works just as well. Always the same stuff when it's the same stuff. Okay? Feet move around. And they also have, he has latches here, as you can see. They come up and down. Up, like this. I can't get this, this is kind of a weird. That's weird, okay. Up, down. Up, down. It's like a half, <laughs> it's like half and half. It goes up a little bit. And it goes down a little bit. Not much to that. So that, I'm not too crazy about that. That's that's a terrible, that's a terrible latch. So I, I don't have to ding that. I don't like that at all. That's pretty terrible. But yeah, so that's it on the articulation because there's not much to it. But the figure and the character is great. I do like it. I'm not mad at it. it it's something that I'm going to collect. And this is the cool thing about this. I like this figure. Man, this is good because of the fact a friend of mine next door, he took the time out of Christmas. Young guy, young kid took the time and he wanted to buy me something to review and he actually found something that I was wanting to, to review without even asking me. So I'm very impressed by that. Thank you, thank you Davis for checking out the store and thinking of me. Now we got it out, let's go, let's go. So here's the box. As you can see here, you know, Mattel does well with these Masterverse figures. They put them in great boxes. I think they do. I mean, look at them. He's saying, please get me out of here. Would you please get me out of here? Uh, we, we, we will. Just hang on a second. So here we are. We got the Netflix logo there. Masterverse there. Your articulation points. You got Masters of the Universe right there. Right here with the Revelations. And of course, Stinker. Mattel. Aegis. Great. That's the front of the box. Flip it to the side. You got some of that good artwork. I mean, it's fairly good, isn't it? Yeah, nice artwork there. Got him there looking. <laughs> he's just looking. All right. Got a suit on. Looks like he's got his tanks on his back. Yeah, he does. Okay. Nice, nice. All right. More of the artwork there. Let's go to the other side. And you just have Stinker. Let's go ahead and turn that around and check it out. There we are. Kind of black covering it. Looking all stinky, I guess. <laughs> stinky, stinky, stinky. <laughs> All right, so we got the artwork there, and at the front of the box, you can see them tucked away nicely. You got your extra head, body, hands, shield, and that's all I can see for that. But I got something else. Hold on. Bam! That's what I know you guys like. Here it is. Pause it, and you can read it, and let us, let, let's talk about it. But that is the box. And of course, I got that Bid Bad Toy Store at BidBadToyStore.com. The link is in the description down below. If you hadn't checked out Bid Bad Toy Store, they have what you need. They have what you're looking for. They got plenty of stock. Just check them out. Go to the site. Don't be scared. Let them know I sent you. And this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the video informational or you just simply enjoyed watching, please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. And as always, this has been another toy review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.